Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, October 8th, 2019. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, also keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 8th of October, it does not mean it has to resonate on that day. Whenever you come across this reading at any moment in time and it resonates for you, that is the, me that is the message for you at that moment. Yes? So, um, <laughs> first thing I want to point out is I have noticed that my allergies are very much connected to channeling and I say that because I got up this morning I did my routine everything was fine and my allergies I guess the the the, the allergens outside are starting to subside because I slept with my window open window open all night it was a really nice cool evening um oh cool night and <clears throat> I woke up this morning and everything was fine it literally guys it wasn't until I sat down here and really started connecting with the collective and like starting to channel and opening my third eye and getting that warmed up and getting all that did that's when my sinuses started acting up so i am going to be sniffling a little bit i probably should have blown my nose blown my nose before i started but i didn't even think of it but it's so it's like such it's more that just my 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 sinuses are aggravated because my channels are opening up than anything else so the sniffling is, is actually kind of a defense me defense mechanism but anyway i just wanted to point that out i thought it was funny um okay and i'm actually really wanting to light some sage so we're gonna do that but 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 the next thing i want to point out is you may have noticed that there is a new addition to whoops to my crystal collection here. Hey, you, hey, you, go out. Hey, 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 thank you. <laughs> we have a new fluorite tower here that has now joined my crystals courtesy of Stella. Thank you so, so much, Stella. Isn't this just pretty, you guys? I'm so excited about it. I got this last um, tower yesterday and I came home and I spent a few minutes just kind of like organizing things and this is how it landed last night. And I am so grateful. This is so beautiful. And the energies are so fantastic. So fantastic. I'm just so very happy about it. So welcome our new crystal tower. So now we have rose quartz here. This is this big, big, beautiful pink one. And then the fluorite, which is the green and purple one here. This is selenite and then this is citrine, yes? I call them the four sisters. It's crazy because I was sitting here last night after I had arranged everything and I was just admiring the setup here and I was looking at these four towers and I was like, wow, they really have a presence. It's literally like I was seeing four women or four feminine energies standing strong and firm and just like, um, like you know, chin up, chest out, very strong and 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 bold and beautiful and it was it was a really really interesting image to ponder to process to observe to be in the presence of to be quite honest and literally just talking about you know the energies of these of these crystals is filling me with a, with a great deal of joy um and i'm so grateful <clears throat> i am so great very grateful i'm grateful stella to you for all this addition because she's provided more than just these four these four um, towers here i mean a lot of the stuff that you see here is an extension like all of this stuff here like there's a selenite slab on the bottom here underneath all this stuff um she she sent me this piece of amethyst um all uh, so much this black tourmaline this hematite this chrysoprase the bloodstone this i believe this is a clear quartz i mean we <laughs> Um, uh, Chris, uh, Chris this green and, and white one here, this, um, bumblebee Jasper. I mean, like she's, thank you. <laughs> I'm so incredibly grateful. Like, it's amazing. Thank you. Um, yeah. And <clears throat> for those of you that would like to send things, I am going to be working on getting a, um, a, a PO box. I want to hopefully have that started this week all right so stay stay bear with me stay tuned 
Um, and as soon as I have more information around that, I will let you guys know. Yes? Okay. Also, yesterday we had our first installment of what I called um, your weekly love bump. And it was so freaking fun, like so fantastic. If you guys didn't get a chance to check that out yet, that is still available, okay? It's gonna be up there in perpetuity, so you can watch it at any time, but it's definitely something that I wanna continue doing. However, I am going to change the name. Um, instead of the weekly love bump, um, I recognized I realized yesterday after we had done it that there is someone else, there's a reader out on YouTube that uses that same type of terminology. Her name is Jane International Tarot. I love her. I think she's fantastic. I don't really watch her too much anymore. I used to and I just, I love her delivery. I love her style. I love the content that she puts out there. But she does, she uses that word bump and I didn't realize it until after the fact and I'm not trying to step on toes. So instead, what I'm going to do is I want to call it where it's it's our afternoon tea. So, <laughs> so, <clears throat> excuse me. So, daily we'll have our morning coffee, and then once a week we will meet for afternoon tea, and we'll talk about love. I kind of love that. Like I woke up this morning and I thought about it, and I was like, oh my god, that is too perfect. <laughs> Yes, so we're gonna do that, all right? So afternoon tea is going to be a weekly thing. I believe, I think I'm gonna keep it on Mon keep it to Mondays. Um, and then happy hour is coming back. And I think I wanna do that this week. Like I'm, I may do that tomorrow, all right? Stay tuned, um, but tomorrow evening, I think I wanna do that on Wednesdays, but like I said yesterday, I'm not sure I'll be able to continue to do it on Wednesdays consist consistently, but I, of course I'll keep you guys posted. Um, and the thing about happy hour that's shifting is going to be strictly personal readings. I'm not gonna start happy hour with a collective reading anymore. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the collective reading for Instagram Live. Like, I'm still gonna go live on Instagram, so if you're not following me on Instagram yet, please, I would love it if you did so. Um, you can find me at divine underscore conversations. You can also find the link in the description box of my videos. Um, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go live on Instagram first, and then, and do a collective reading there, and then when we get here to YouTube, it's just gonna be strictly personal readings, all right? And personal readings are at a discounted rate. I'll get you guys all the details when we're actually doing it, yeah? Because I wanna save time, because we're already seven minutes into this video. Good God, Eric. <laughs> okay. So, with all of that said, I don't really have a pre-shuffle to, well, okay, yes, I do kind of. Um, so as I was channeling the energies for today, I was still seeing orange. Um, and what I was getting was that orange is in the forefront of our minds. What is orange? Orange is symbolizing our emotions. And um, I really do feel like collectively, many of us are in an energy of staying very, very consciously aware of our emotions. And also, at, I wanna say indirectly, our dreams as well, because our emotions are the indicator as to whether or not we are in alignment with our desires, with that which we've asked the universe for. We are in alignment with our inner being, whether we are in alignment with our inner being or not. Um, for those of you that have been following lately, one of you made it to, um, to the weekly love bump yesterday or our afternoon tea yesterday and mentioned how you were grateful for suggesting that, you know, suggesting Abraham Hicks. I have been on a total Abraham kick lately and I highly, highly, highly recommend that if you guys have not really given that a shot yet to investigate it, to check it out because it has done more. It has done so much more for me in understanding how to navigate emotions and manifesting and working with the universe than anything else. I mean, obviously, the other things that I have, the other systems that I've dealt with, you know, and learned from have definitely helped, but this right now has been pivotal. And to be quite honest, if you're, if you're following 
what Abraham has been bringing forward in their chats, then you would understand the value of your emotions and you would in fact be very consciously aware of what your emotions are t indicating, okay? And that's the energy that I'm feeling for the collective. And it's, so it's funny I, because I was shuffling and as I was thinking this, thinking this through earlier and I was like, you know what? We don't really have a pre-shuffle because that's kind of like the pre-chat. But then the, the shuffle landed here with the page of cups, okay? Oh, I do. I meant I put my light over on this side today because I wanted you guys to be able to see the crystals. But now I think I am going to have to move it back over to this other side because it's hard to see the cards with the light positioned there. But that's okay. We'll leave it there for today. Um, you have the Page of Cups here, which is the dreamer energy. This is the focus on your dreams and your emotions, okay? Keeping a close eye on them, focusing on what they are for you, what they represent for you. And then on the other side of this, you have the Eight of Swords. And this is literally an energy of breaking yourself free from confinement. Okay, the beauty of the Eight of Swords is that this person can shimmy over there and, and, and cut herself free. And the funny thing about it is this other side, the other side of this card, it shows that actually those ropes are a lot looser than you might think. Okay. So it's like we're focusing on our emotions right now in an effort to break ourselves free. And that's absolutely beautiful, guys. That is so freaking beautiful. Okay. So with all that said, now let's get into the rest of the reading here. Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Tuesday, October 8th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're giving this three shuffles and then we'll see what we've got. For the collective. <laughs> I started singing that earlier. I was just singing for the collective and it started to sound like a song. I was like, wait, that sounds like a song. And it was a pink song. It's that walk me home song. Walk me home in the dead of night. You know that song? Well, as I, I don't know why that happened, but it was just, I was singing the melody of that song and I didn't even realize it. I love that song. I can't be alone with all that's on my mind. I can't, I probably shouldn't sing anymore. Or YouTube is gonna get mad at me. But Pink, I love you. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's see what we've got for today. Here we go. Eyes are closed. Let's see what we've got. Tuesday, October 8th for the collective. For the collective. For the collective. Tuesday, October 8th. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. What's going on today, Spirit? What, do you, what would you like to discuss with us today? You see, the same thing was happening earlier when I was doing the pre-shuffle. Nothing was coming out. Are we good? Or is this one of those rare moments where we really don't really need to discuss anything right now? That would be weird. Highly doubt that's the pro that's that's the issue. <laughs> I highly doubt that's a thing. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, something has fallen out. Okay. Oh, take this too. All right. We're going to leave it here. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. So overall energy, we have the three of wands with the knight of wands. Three of wands. And I just saw 333 three, three on the counter here, 1333, but knight of wands. Okay. Um, that's a good energy. I Especially with this here, the star, the magician, and the five of cups. This is a very good energy, guys, especially with the emotions that are in the forefront, right? This is really quite beautiful. I feel there's a sense of confidence that is being developed, cultivated, 
shaped even. Um, the Five of Cups is here, but I don't. it doesn't feel like a bad thing. What this feels like, literally, you are facing your emotions. You are facing what no longer serves you. And it, it, this is an energy of experiencing the contrast. So if you've been watching Abraham, or if you're familiar with Abraham, this, this Five of Cups here, I would say is representing a step one moment. What is step one? Well, Abraham has this process, steps one through five. Step one is recognizing the contrast and shooting out a rocket of desire uh, because of that contrast. Step two is source fulfills that contrast. Step three is getting into alignment with your inner being, right? Um, or being in the receptive mode to now receive that which source has now provided to you. There are two more steps, step four and step five. I'm not quite clear on what step four is, um, but step five is recognizing that you're always going to experience step one. So it's step five is getting happy with experiencing step one because you know, or experiencing the contrast, because you know from there you're gonna get something new. You're gonna get, you're going to receive that which you desire because of the contrast that you experienced, okay? So I'm seeing this five of cups as step one, saying, Ooh, look at those three cups that have spilled. I do not like that. Hey, um, let's do something about that. Let's change that. Let's have something new. Excellent. Manifesting. The magician. Dreams coming true. The star. Healing even. You could definitely see that as healing, especially if you are in this period where you're looking over your emotions and you're looking at the circumstances from the past and all of the things that may not have gone well, not have gone to your liking, heartbreaking situations, spilled milk, whatever, whatnot, whatever. You are then shooting off rockets of desire or manifesting healing in terms of that. And this is a very conscious, this feels very, very conscious okay you have the three of wands with the knight of wands this is moving forward with your light there is passion here there is excitement it might feel fleeting you might you and, and and i think it's coming out as the knight of wands for a specific reason in terms of recognizing that you know you're gonna have to continue to fan the fires you're gonna have to continue to work at this to keep this fire this passion this excitement this inspiration going okay but this is definitely a good thing you are absolutely 100 percent on your path you're definitely in a place of being in the receptive mode or at least working on perfecting getting into the, set, the, the the receptive mode or practicing the receptive mode with the three of wands here because the three of wands can represent waiting for a return on an investment. So this is literally, I'm seeing this three of wands as being in the receptive mode to receive that which you have asked for. This is beautiful, you guys. I really love this. I'm going to cross over now to the clarification. I'm going to start with the um, wild unknown tarot because I want to get a little bit more clarity on these energies. And then we're going to get, then we're going to move to our oracle guidance and closing message from spirit. Or should I say closing message from spirit and oracle guidance because the closing message from spirit is going to come first. Okay, Eric. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, one last shuffle. And then I just want to get, oh, no, two more shuffles. And then I'm going to get clarity on what, just a little bit more definition on what these energies are for you or for us, okay? Yeah, Page of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. All right, so yes, this is definitely a level up situation. And this is definitely a situation or a period, a time period where an, an energetic space where you're, finding your footing again, okay? But this is definitely on a new level where you are in very much more in control of your life, of your manifestations and all of that, all right? Which is beautiful, you guys, <clears throat> absolutely beautiful. So what are these energies here? <clears throat> Let's get a, ooh. Oh, the lovers, what? With the seven of swords, <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, 
I'm putting this Seven of Swords back in. That does not fit. That does not feel like it fits there. If it comes back out, it comes back out. But And that fell face down. That just, it didn't fit. That did not fit. So the lover's here. Um, wow, this is union. But this is union within. And this is exactly what we're working on, what we've been working towards. The lover's represents... I just heard strength too. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. But the lovers represents a choice, right? And it seems that you are, and what I'm feeling here is from your place of manifestation, from your place of wish fulfillment, okay, between the magician and the star, you have a choice or manifestations that are in alignment with your true self, the lovers your inner being, the core of who you are. This is your masculine and feminine energies working in tandem to achieve that which you desire. Oh my gosh. Wow. You guys, that is so beautiful. Keep up the hard work and the good work that you're doing because this is just, and they just said all of this, okay. You may not really be, I think you can, you see how thick that stack is? Do you see how thick that stack is? <laughs> Overall energy of judgment, wake up call, ascension, higher learning, higher wisdom coming in. Do you see this stack? We're gonna do it, but it's, it's it, we have, to start with, we have death, all right? Transformation, this is beautiful, guys. Let's see. Death, ooh, five of swords, all right. Seven of pentacles, I bet you we're gonna get the seven of swords again, we might. Temperance, the fool, two of swords, nine of pentacles, there is strength, the king of wands, the queen of pentacles, and the five of cups. Wow. Wow, you guys. So we didn't get the Seven of Swords, and I like that. Well, I like that a lot. What we did get, we're gonna, we're gonna start here. Death, Five of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. So what this is saying, literally, what this is saying is, with the Seven of Pentacles, that is learning from the contrast, okay? Seven of Pentacles does represent an energy of learning from the contrast, all right? So the Seven of Pentacles, along with the Five of Cups, can, well, yes, the Seven of Pentacles can kind of be seen as a step one, as well as the Five of Cups. However, in this circumstance, I really do feel like Five of Cups is your, is your true step one, all right? But what we have here is, in the Seven of Pentacles, it's more than just a step one situation. This is, this is, the bigger picture of learning from the contrast. So the seven of pentacles is more than just one circumstance or one situation that's causing you to experience a step one, a step one moment where you're shooting off a rocket of desire in terms of something that you're observing in front of you that you do not desire or you don't like, okay? That's undesirable. The seven of pentacles, however, is a much bigger sense of that where it's a culmination of many different circumstances and experiences that has helped you um, come to maybe say a deeper conclusion of some sort of some things. The five of swords is representing a self-sabotaging and backstabbing, um, egotistical, extreme competition, um, lose-lose type of energy. Death representing transformation okay so between death and the seven of pentacles you are transforming out of an energy that is self 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 sabotaging self deprecating um destructive in nature lose lose for everyone around and this is very much connected to the energies that we were picking up on yesterday and last week in terms of not wanting to feed this this monster anymore you know that this monster that has kind of like this monstrous energy that has taken over society and has made us cutthroat and extremely competitive of one another and um, losing our sense of community and humanity almost in, in many cases, right? That's excellent. And it seems that it was a desire 
it was a desire that has created the circumstances that has led you to this energy of this transformation death five of swords seven of pentacles that has led you towards a transformation that has now put you in this position to really be in divine union with self okay next layer we have temperance the fool and the two of swords so you're at the precipice right now you are at a phase where you're about to take a leap of faith with the fool but you're not quite ready yet two of swords is i feel like this is an energy of your 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 building momentum especially especially with this knight of wands energy here okay you're building some sort of momentum to take a leap of faith in a new direction you're not quite ready yet two of swords and temperance because there's still some alchemizing that's going on so you may be in just a planning stage right now or a phase where you're just feeling through it thinking about it planning it out trying to figure out okay well, well why do I want to do this? How can I execute this? Where do I want to go? How do, it's, this feels like a planning stage. So this Two of Swords does not feel bad at all. Okay, it's, it's somewhat necessary because I don't, you're not quite ready to take this leap of faith yet. But the energies of temperance are very much at work here. It's... It's this temperance energy that is bringing these energies of masculine and feminine together for you, okay? So temperance here is the fuel that is, that is bringing this union together for you in your internal reality, the union of masculine and feminine energy, right? I love that. And then finally, you have, oh, well, yeah, finally, actually, you do have the Nine of Pentacles, Strength, which is what I heard earlier, so I'm glad it came out, the King of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups, again, is circling back to the beginning. This is your step one moment, Five of Cups. I'm going to leave this right here, okay? You have the Nine of Pentacles with Strength, King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. There you have it, the Masculine and Feminine combined the queen of pentacles being the grounded abundant um nurturing caregiving compassionate supportive energy abundant right the king of swords being that <clears throat> Also, I am getting a protective energy here, but a protective energy, but confident, sure of oneself, knowing what he or she wants, not being afraid to go after it, knowing when the right time to strike is, okay? And it's, I mean, it's, it, it, it's, it's, a, the wands suit is, all of the, the court cards in the wands suit are snakes, all right? That represents passion, it represents fire, it represents wisdom, it represents spirit, right? Because also... Uh, it, it can also represent creative energy because think about it this way the kundalini is a serpent type serpent type energy okay and so this could re definitely represent kundalini energy with wands but also is this oh shoot is this a viper or is it a rattlesnake there's just something, whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what, what, what type of snake this is. The energy that I get from this snake is striking at the right time. Like, it's not just going to go willy-nilly. It's going to watch you, okay? It's going to, as it's defending itself, it's going to watch you, and it's going to strike when you least expect it, okay? So what I'm seeing here is a balance and a grounding between the masculine and the feminine energy. The feminine and I love that the feminine is coming out as this grounded energy. It's coming out in the queen of pentacles because it really is the feminine energy that's going to give you that base, okay, that grounding, that base of nurturance that is going to allow you, that will afford you the confidence to go after what it is that you want, okay, with the king of wands energy. You have strength here which is um, taming the beast, confidence, being sure of oneself, knowing, like, you know, and then you have the Nine of Pentacles, independence. 
and it's and I was and I did say earlier continue to do this work that is paying off for you because it is this that's what the nine of pentacles represents hard work that is now paying off that you are now reaping the benefits of okay this is beautiful guys this is such an amazing energy like i really really love this for all of us and i want to say a, a strong congratulations i mean think about all of the work that we've been doing i'm gonna put it this way you guys think about where you were this time last year whoa i know <laughs> i know but really think about it where were you this time last year? Where was I this time last year? I was, was I still working at that restaurant? Yes, I think I was. I, I think I, yes, I wasn't out of there until November. I had almost just put, I think I had just put my two weeks in at this point. And that was when I decided, or like close to this point, and that's when I decided that I wanted to go, I wanted to do readings full time. Now, I still do readings full time, um, but I also, you know, I have a, a side gig here at a restaurant at, a, at close to my home now. Um, and, you know, I'm picking up other side work too, but my, the core of my work right now, the core of my what I do, the core of my work is, are these readings. And when I, when I got to that point last year and I finally left, so by November I would have been out of that and I would have been focusing solely on doing my readings. It was a struggle, you guys. There were moments where I was like, holy shit, what the hell did I just do? Can I really do this? Well, yes, you can. And now fast forward a year later and here we are. I mean, Damn, y'all. Congratulations. And yes, I am including you guys in this too because as I've been doing these daily readings, I've recognized that the, th the, the things that I'm experiencing on a daily basis are very closely similarly tied, if not the same exact thing that you guys are experiencing, or at least those of you that I'm channeling for. So yes, we've made it. I mean, we've come, I I'm not gonna say we've, made it because there I mean that would indicate that there is a final destination there is no final destination but we have come very very far guys very very far and we really should be proud of ourselves boop so with that we are going to move into final messages from spirit and then we're going to get our oracle guidance i don't know where we're getting our oracle guidance from today there is a little bit of a battle between the dragons and the unicorns we'll see the dragons really want to come out but then the unicorns are like well we do too what about us but i'm, I'm hearing dragons so okay we might settle with that but let's get closing messages from spirit here and then we'll get our oracle guidance. Last shuffle. So, just your closing messages, Spirit. Any advice? What do you have to say? Let's see. Closing messages from Spirit in terms of this spread. The Knight of Wands again. Okay, uh, um, and that was a very specific message that came out with that. Oh my God, with the lovers? Stop it. Um, the Knight of Wands says, don't lose your passion. All right? And it's coming through this way, and this is the same as here. All right? Here's the Knight of Wands also. It's coming through this way because the Knight of Wands can be a very wishy-washy energy. It can burn out very easily. Okay, and you don't want that to happen. So keep in mind that you're going to have to take steps to continue to fan or fuel this fire, all right? But you do have the lovers. They are, the spirit is confirming that yes, in fact, you do have this union, this balance of masculine and feminine going on within you, and we couldn't be any more proud of you. 
overall energy of the Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles is self-mastery. Three of Pentacles is building. Three of Pentacles is co-creation, is teamwork. And this is co-creation with, within yourselves and with the universe. Well, this is co-creation with the universe, but it's between ourselves as humans, but then also with the universe. Mainly with the universe on an individual level. And I want you guys to recognize you have the Three of Pentacles here and the Three of Wands here. Three, three. That is a master number. This is excellent. All right, guys. Oracle guidance. I'm going to do something special. I'm going to get you two oracles today because I'm, I'm sitting here listening to this battle between, in my head, saying unicorns, no, uh, no dragons, no unicorns, no dragons. But so I'm going to do both, right? We're going to get a little bit from the unicorns and then we're going to get a card from the dragons. <laughs> So, Oracle Guidance from the Unicorns first. All right, let's see what we get. What do the Unicorns have to say about this? They're proud of us too, excellent. I love it. What, what, what guidance do you have for us, Unicorns, please? What guidance do you have for us? Wow, okay, well, there it is. Oh, abundance, yes. Oh my God, guys. Oh, look at this, abundance. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. Oh God, that's so beautiful. Okay, and now, just, Okay, well, they're saying there's one more. Just one more. All right. Just one more, then. Just one more, then, unicorns. Oh! And they're saying to take all of it. Okay. Maybe we're not, maybe we won't get any oracles from the, the dragons. You have imagination. Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. Yeah, uh, we're going to keep it with the unicorns today. Adventure. Dare to do things differently. Manifest your travel dreams. Move to a new location. That has been on my mind lately. You have <clears throat> celebration. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. I mean, this is confirmation that the unicorns, yes, very, very proud of us. Very proud of you. Look at how much you've, look how far you've come. Look at how much you've accomplished in the last year even. Magic, make a wish, believe in miracles. Magic surrounds you. And finally, you have action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. Yes for that King of Wands energy. I'm going to leave it there. I'm, yeah. I'm still, I'm still wanting to pull a dragon card. So do it. All right. <laughs> Why not? I'm just going to go for it, you guys. All right, so then to round this all out, what do the dragons have to say? Woo! All right. So from the dragons then. Ooh, here we go. We have... Earth Dragon, okay. Clears your path and the land around you. Stay grounded, be ready to serve. Stuck energy is clearing. You can move forward in life. 
Yes, yes, indeed. I mean, look, the, even the unicorn said it. Adventure, dare to do things differently. Um, manifest your travel dreams. Move to a new, new location. Imagination, envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited potential or possibilities. Action, now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. Coupled with Earth Dragon, beautiful, perfect message. Let's see. Earth Dragon, card number 18, or, or page 18. Here we go. <clears throat> Fourth dimensional Earth Dragons are brown, the color of the soil. They love the planet and the land itself. It is these sturdy dragons who helped to build the original dragon lines that we now call ley lines. Part of their service work is to travel along them to clear them when asked to do so. When we send an instruction to the earth dragons to work with the ley lines, they can power away under the surface to clear any blockages. This impacts hugely on people and situations in the vicinity. They can also help to ground us in our mission in this life. The guidance here says, it is time to clear unwanted energies that are preventing your life from moving forward. Some of these may be in the earth under your home or office or where you travel. Call on the earth dragons and ask them to remove all that is not in accordance with divine light. Then sense the frequency rising within the land and on your path. This card also suggests you may be called on to do planetary service work as the earth dragons will take the opportunity to cleanse any ley lines you focus on. Take a moment to direct them to clear the planetary grid and visualize the grid glowing and shimmering. When you walk, think of the earth dragons and connect with them through the earth. Ask them to ground you and your vision for this card signifies that you are now boosting your spiritual journey and you are ready to fly. Oh, I'm sorry, that they are now boosting your spiritual journey and you are ready to fly. Notice the progress you make. And on top of that, notice the progress that you have already made. Okay, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.